Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the start relay in your freezer, be sure to unplug the power cord. You will need to pull the freezer away from the wall so you can access the rear of the appliance. To do this, use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the base grill. Pull the base grill forward to remove. Use a quarter inch socket or wrench to rotate the brake feet counterclockwise to raise them. You can now roll the freezer away from the wall. Use the quarter inch socket or a nut driver to unthread the screws to release the lower rear access panel. Using a small flathead screwdriver, pry off the retainer securing the start relay and run capacitor cover. Pull off the cover. You can now detach the relay and capacitor from the compressor motor. Disconnect the wire connector. Detach the run capacitor. Install the new start relay by first attaching the capacitor. Connect the wire connector. Position the assembly on the compressor motor pins. Replace the cover and secure it with the retainer. Reposition the access panel and rethread the screws. If applicable, make sure to secure the strain relief clamp for the water supply tubing with the appropriate rear panel screw. Once the freezer has been moved back into place, rotate the brake feet clockwise until both are in contact with the floor. Snap the base grill into place. Rethread the screws to secure the base grill. Plug the power cord back in and your freezer should be ready for use.